Okay, so I am getting ready. The trial is about to start, and I have my tie on for today. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark, but that's that's my tie for today, and um, I hope everybody enjoyed yesterday's uh, commentary. I think it's important for a regular or I say regular in quotes, a regular person to um, comment on what's going on, only because regular people are the ones in the jury. Experts aren't in the jury, it's regular people, so um, I think the opinions of the public are very important. So I hope everyone enjoys my commentary, and I'm going to take notes, and hopefully it won't be as long as yesterday's, but if uh, you enjoy it, let me know so I know um, if 30 minutes is okay. So I will see you guys during recess. Well, <laughs> that was a roller coaster of emotions going on in the fr in the morning session. Um, I don't even know. That was just really exhausting and really frustrating to watch. Um, but before I get into that part, I'll just um, start at the beginning. So um, Juan Martinez starts off by talking, like going back into talking about how when she was um, 17 and in a relationship, um, based and basically um, going back to establishing um, a pattern of being obsessive, jealous, and and kind of like stalker tendencies while when she's in relationships and when she feels like she's been wronged. Um, and then she went into a whole, uh, you know, I don't know, I can't recall, stuff like that. That's, that, that, that's her game, um, to, to gain control. Um, so then they start talking about, instead of going to work, how she logged on to her ex-boyfriend's email account, which just shows that he, he was basically, um, talking about a pattern of, you know, as I said, a pattern of going behind her boyfriend's backs and, um, going through their things. Um and not having trust in them. Uh, so then I, I again went, um, like one, like one by one pasted the tweets that were kind of like against Juan Martinez. And I think it was a lot more tweets today than there was yesterday against him. Um, just because of, they kind of got into a big argument today. Um, but the first one was, uh, no Martinez, it's the confusing way you ask questions and jump around. Half the time it's, you that doesn't make sense because he was they they got so into the fact that that I don't like I don't understand I don't understand what you're saying you keep asking me that question I don't remember uh, maybe possibly stuff like that um, so that was just somebody's take on on that and then I, I said I just assume that the way she tries to evade answering questions has to annoy the jury they want answers and she refuses to give them um, so I, I really wish we knew what the ju how the jury is taking this. We won't find out until, of course, um, when they come to a verdict, but it, it's, it seemed to be a little, not, not 50-50 today, but maybe, um, 75-25 about, you know, about if Jody Arias won or, um, Juan Martinez won in the morning session, um, so I said, then he goes into another time when she was um, confrontational about a boyfriend cheating on her. She says she was, conf oh, and then she says she he was confused when he talks in circles. Because, you know, he's trying to get a direct yes or no answer from her, and she refuses to give that. So then he tries to ask the question again, and tries to ask the question again, and he's getting more and more frustrated with her. Because she keeps trying to come up with another lie, and then he she puts it on him that she's saying um, he's talking in circles, which just blew up. He you know just blew up everything after that. Um, so then he goes, well, um, you you know you're confrontational in your in your you know high school relationship. You're confrontational in this other relationship, and. And then she goes, I wasn't allowed to be confrontational with Travis. So, again, trying to put the blame on him. Even though, she, even though, yeah. So, um, 
So that he's bringing up examples on how she, um, she's not a pro procrastinator like she says, and she acts immediately because in all those other instances, she acted immediately when she thought she was being cheated on, but all of a sudden when it comes to Travis, no, no, I, I'm a procrastinator. I did not act right away, which she actually did. Um, so then we have the second, um tweet kind of like against Juan Martinez. Again, Jody Arias is in total control of momentum of cross. Um, Juan Martinez yelling makes him look uh, exasperated and weak. No flow to this. Hard to follow. And I got a lot of like tweets in a row that are that start talking about how he's more and more out of control. Um, somebody else says, I believe Juan Martinez needs to be more calm and less temperamental. Jody Arias feels that she has the control and she does at times. Um, so then I said a lot of people tweeting in the hashtag that have mentioned that if they were on the jury, they would not like it at all the way she avoids answering questions. I think the way she avoids answering questions just shows her guilt, just shows that she's calculating and shows that she knows what she was doing. Um, cause if you're not, if she was acting in self-defense, she, do, she would have no reason to evade a answering questions because she was, she was acting in self-defense. She thought her life was in danger, but no mention of this. Um, da, 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 da. um, then I said, Juan Martinez has, has to ask her, oh, sorry if I'm moving the camera, uh, Juan Martinez has to ask her many times, does she have a memory problem? Because she keeps saying, I don't remember. Um, then the another tweet is, I want Martinez to win, but I'm afraid sympathy from the jury because of Martinez kind of being a jerk might let Jody Arias off the hook. Maybe not. Um, and then I say, they show part of the 48 Hours interview where she said she was happy with Travis. So so she's saying that she was happy in the relationship which doesn't say anything about being unhappy or that he that she was scared of him. So that's another contradiction to her um abuse allegations. Um and then he starts bringing up the fact that she she was looking at his phone while he was sleeping behind his back looking she he talked about looking at his um uh, MySpace messages behind his back. Um and now she's arguing with him about using the word offended, even though she's the one who used the word. Now she says he's making her brain scrambled. Um, so now she says she's too focused on his anger, tone, and posture to, to really understand what he is asking her. And that just sent people, that just sent him over the top. Not over the top, but um, you'll see. I get to it in a second. Um, so then we get a tweet in, oh my god, she's pissing off the prosecutor, thinks she's trying to scramble his brain, uh, she has succeeded to get him off track. Um, now I've got off track because I lost my place. Oh, here we go. And then another one, Jody Arias is beating Martinez big time. He is so far off track, and she has put him there. Uh, then another, uh... Another tweet. See, these tweets came in like one after another, and with yesterday they were kind of spaced out. And I don't think there were as many in the morning session. I think to th there were uh, maybe the same amount of tweets. No, not even. There were more tweets in the morning session, ne like kind of negative towards Juan Martinez, than there was yes the whole of yesterday. Um... So then the next tweet is, Martinez shouldn't be getting into all of this. He's letting jo jo Jody Arias get to him. Um, and then the next tweet is, Juan is screwing this whole thing up. Stammers, visibly frustrated, combative. But I think she's the, she's the one that's been combative. He's just trying to get answers. He's trying to do his job, and she's not letting him do his job. Um, so then... This is when I go, she will not answer a direct question, and Juan Martinez is trying to get a proper answer out of her. She's getting more and more combative with him. Defense objects because Juan Martinez asks if she would feel more comfortable if he used the podium like her counsel, which Nermi, which is her defense attorney, which Nermi objects to, and he says, would you feel more comfortable if I used the podium? Nermi stands up and says, would it be better if we approach and talk about how he's going to do the same thing over and over and um, he almost starts walking towards the judge or towards the bench and then she says are are you asking to approach the bench and he says yes and then there's a sidebar 
So when we come back from the sidebar, um, the court reporter <laughs> is uh, reading the question back to her. So, um, and then she, she, I think she was, she starts answering questions, but then she starts going back into, I don't understand, and then, um, then she goes, I understand, we got very off track, uh, very off track, which, like, she cannot resist, like, just getting that little nab in, that little nab at him. Um, this also goes completely against her claim she is a victim of domestic violence by continually fighting with him, even correcting the prosecutor. Just about everything she has done con contradicts that claim. Um, then I say, well, I'm, oh, my arm's getting tired. Um... Uh, Juan Martinez touched on how she will refuse to answer a question because she wants yes or no answers and she always wants to elaborate. Um, she wants it to be all about her. She wants it to be the Jody show and this is not the Jody show. <laughs> this is the Travis, Travis, Travis Alexander Justice. Um, that's, that's not what he said. That was, that was me. Um... She says she feels bad about going behind Travis's back, yet she has a pattern of going behind boyfriend's backs. Uh, da, 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 da. So we get another tweet in. Unfortunately, Jody, Jody Arias is winning. Juan Martinez letting semantics get in the way. Why get lost in the minutia? Stick to the big picture. Um, and then somebody um, actually came up with a... Um, a good point that I hadn't even thought of. Um, if this case were the other way around, Travis Alexander would have been on death row a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, so then Martinez has to keep skipping around when cross-examining Jody Arias. That's the only way to throw a pathical li pathological liar off their game. So that's another kind of somebody else's point why Juan Martinez is kind of going this way. Um, and it makes sense. Um, so then we get the, oh, this is the 11th tweet that's kind of, like, negative towards how he's doing this. Uh, Juan Martinez is wasting time with his nonsense rambling. He needs to get back to the facts instead of arguing with Jody Arias. Um, I think she's making it very hard for him to do what he needs to do. Um, he's not going to let her control the courtroom, bit, like, plain and simple. He, he's going to get the answer out of her that he wants. Um... So Jody Arias is getting to get off because this prosecutor cross of her. He is awful, frustrated, and unprepared. I don't think so. Um, Jody Arias... Oh, no. Juan is acting like a bully, starting to feel sorry for Jody. That scares me, because somebody in the jury could be thinking the same thing. Um, then I go, this is a 13 and a half. Um, I love Juan Martinez, but he needs to move on. E even I'm getting annoyed at the, with the round and round. Um, and then 13 and 3 quarters. I'm afraid that Jody Arias is making the prosecutor look foolish, sadly. Um, and then 14, I think he needs to get some strong questions in about June 4th, which is the day of the murder. Um, other than that, leave her past in the past. So, that's, um, kind of where we have left off with the morning session and going into recess. Um, I hope they get back on track and... The judge can do something about this round around because it is really getting frustrating, and I worry that the jury is going to get confused, and the jury is going to get frustrated with both of them. So um, I really, ho I don't know. As I said, I don't know what the rule is about um, how you're supposed to act in the courtroom, but I really wish the judge would like take control of her courtroom and get her back on track and make her, you know, answer the questions that are being asked of her. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys back after I go through my notes of the afternoon. Okay, so we're in afternoon recess right now. Um, I, w I took a little notes, like, during the, um, the other, the, the first recess. Um, I really want to know what the experts were thinking about, um, if they thought that Juan Martinez or Jody Arias kind of won that round, uh, the morning round. I'm sorry, I'm holding this. It's moving. Um, and, um, most, uh, it was like half and half, basically. Um, mo the experts actually said that Juan Martinez did not come out looking good and that Jody Arias did a good job for the most part. Um, they did say he needs to stay focused and he's, um, and, but she's not looking good in this either, so. Um... And then during recess, there was a tweet 
um, against Juan saying Juan Martinez is exhausting me. I think that's a negative, you know, kind of negative um, tweet. It could have been like a half negative tweet. Um, and then another one came in. This is the problem, Mr. Martinez is getting too emotional and is being shaken up. On the other hand, Jody Arias is keeping her cool and is in charge. So, um, then the expert says, if the prosecutor asks the judge to admonish a witness, then he loses control. And I was kind of talking about, like, why doesn't the judge take control of her courtroom and tell her that she needs to start answering these questions? So, I guess that was kind of an answer to that. Um, and then Beth Karras, she's, she works for HLN and True TV. She's in the courtroom. She talked about, like, what the jury was looking like. She said, the jury is not taking many notes. They're maybe getting fed up. Um, some had their heads down. One was slouched in their chair, and some were, like, watching back and forth between the two. That was from morning session. Um, then the, another tweet comes in. Uh, she will thrive in jail. Thank God she doesn't need help looking bad because Martinez is sucking. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't really agree with that. I think he knows what he's doing. Um, people seem to be to really want Juan Martinez to get to the murder. He hasn't really gotten to it yet. I don't know if he's going to get to it today or not. Um, and then, so now we start off the afternoon session. We're talking about um, Travis's flirty ways and the message and um, and his uh, like uh, messages that she saw on on MySpace and um, text messages. But in her forty-eight hour interview, she didn't say she didn't say um, him being a flirt with a, was a problem. Um, she actually said um, not that it's a bad thing. So. That kind of, like, he's just trying to show how she's, like, contradicting herself from her 48-hour interview to what she's been saying in court. Um, then he shows a picture to show she was only a few inches shorter than Travis, but then he didn't really go into anything after, after that, so I don't know what he was doing there. Um, then he shows a 48-hours interview. She says she was angry. That his life was taken because he had so many goals. He was the light in a room. Then talks about how awful it must be to be the family. Um, and this is um, a direct quote, quote from her. He was literally, literally a light that brightened the room. Laughter got louder and the whole energy of the room changed. Um, so that like... She speaks so highly of him, and not, like she never says, in, says anything negative about him then. So it... It's like, okay, so he really wasn't this abusive person that you um, perceived him to be. Then we got get another tweet in. That lawyer is so abusive, he has set off all my triggers. He has me in tears, and he is angry and a bully. So, uh, again, stuff like that really um, worries me because um, you don't know if somebody in the jury has had an abusive you know, someone abusive in their life, and they might actually sympathize with her. Um, and then we go more into the 48 Hours interview, um, using her own words against her, and her talking so highly of him, I kind of just said that. Um, I've also noticed that Juan Martinez has calmed down a bit in this afternoon session. Yeah, he was, he was a lot more calm, and she was a lot more reserved, so um, that was really refreshing. <laughs> um, and then she actually said, I did love him and still do in the 40 Hours interview, and, and that just angers me because she brutally murdered him. Um, then... Oh, I have a lot here. I thought I didn't have a lot. Okay. Everything she wrote to him about him, that he said said that he was a great guy, and she thought he was a great guy. Beautiful on the inside, and nothing shows the more ugly side of him than she has made up. Um, Juan Martinez continued to answer questions about negative things she has said about him in court, and the positive things she has said about him in writing contradicts any part of the abusive nature of him. Even right now, she doesn't really speak negatively of him. Um, and I also put, like, as a side note, um, it really seems like Travis not taking her to Cancun was a big breaking point and could have been the reason she could have snapped. Uh, he was moving on with his life without her. And a lot of people in the hashtag seem to think the same way. Um, 
And she was trying to say she wasn't sexually attracted to him, and then she wasn't enjoying it. But then, um, they were talking about oral sex, but then, like, f not even five minutes later, she, um, she says that she was attracted to him. And, um, then they were showing the 48 Hours interview, using her own words against her once again, uh, talking about sex, it was always mutual. She was trying to say there was a time it wasn't mutual, but of course, she just said it was always mutual. She is forced to agree during direct. She said if she felt like a used piece of toilet paper. Um, then another tweet comes in. Jody Arias badgered and made to look forgetful and confused. Prosecutor is a complete idiot talking in circles and confusing himself. Um, she had no problem exchanging naughty photos with him, and they're playing a taped conversation between them talking about KY. She introduced Travis to KY. Um, she said it felt like, and then she said she felt like a prostitute, but she's the one who initiated the experimentation or to make it better. So she's sitting there saying she felt like a cheap prostitute, and but it was actually um, it was more mutual, and in fact she is the one that brought it into into the um, relationship. Um, and then somebody says, well, Martinez is in the weeds, in my opinion. Um, so after he asked her about, like, her saying that she felt like a prostitute, she said, when he jizzes in my face and throw, throws candy at my feet, I feel like a prostitute. But then she says that everything she did was, a, she was a willing participant in the sexual relationship. She told him... She wanted a facial in, in, in a text message. So that contradicts what she was saying in court, too. Um, she said he was abused, abusive and a sexual deviant, but everything she has said contradicts that to the fullest. She was a willing participant. She is, in fact, the one requesting them. Um, she also said, if I didn't want it, then I wouldn't have done it. So that's where we end right now, and I'm really curious to see where we um, start up after this recess is over. Um, I'm, I don't know if he's going to continue talking about the, the sexual things, or if he's going to go into the murder day, or who knows, because he, he is kind of jumping around, which I don't appreciate, but I can see why he's doing it, because um, she's a pathological liar, and she can't be let to... Um, kind of get her thoughts together. She needs to kind of be jumping around so she she can't um, she, you know, think she's outsmarting him or get her lies together. So we'll see what happens in the last part of the day. Well, it's going to be a short update because they um, actually ended court early today. Um, but I'll just go into what I have so far. Um, uh, bef during recess to three tweets came in, um, kind of against Juan Martinez. Uh, he gets too lost in the weeds. Um, s spars with Jody Arias about mundane things that nobody cares about. He hasn't, um, cracked her yet. Then, um, Martinez's little battles with Jody are hurting him. The ultimate battle is this trial. Focus on winning that. And the last one for the day is true. I don't like Martinez's style, but he has not cracked her yet. Not even close, so she gets the day. Um, then they came back from recess, had a sidebar, went back for a 10-minute recess, and then the judge came back and said they were going to um, recess for the evening. And um, they basically... Um, Jody Arias has a headache, or a migraine, and they're claiming that the sheriff's office hasn't been feeding her, so um, they requested for her to get two meals a day and to promptly end at 4.30 every day. I guess they went over yesterday. And you're saying you want to end this unhealthy relationship. What and is going on? Plans to get together and travel. Anyway, <laughs> that just started uh, playing by itself. Anyway, um, so... That's it for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow uh, with more commentary. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I really like to know what everybody else is thinking about this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.